What's up, everybody? Camp Civic. I know it's been a long ass time since I done a video. Besides the one I dropped what last week, but here's an actual update of my car. What I'm doing. So, what I'm doing here is, as you guys can see, I would a, I would a, I welded a exhaust cutout to a reducer to my stock exhaust all the way. Don't mind the wheels, uh, it's my first time welding. It ain't the best. It's um, I used a flux uh, welder from Harbor Freight. The, was it like 130 bucks, that one? It didn't come out too bad as long as it doesn't leak, so. Save, save me some money from labor if I was to take it to the shop. But then again, back to the point. Okay, the reason why I got rid of my exhaust, if you guys already know, that California, uh, they they passed a law that um, <clears throat> they, they could fine you $1,000 right there if they see you having a modified exhaust. I know that, I know that everybody said, well, it has to be a certain decibel, but the thing is that I'm not gonna give them a reason to pull me over because just having the exhaust or a muffler is gonna give the copser or CHPs are a reason to pull you over. So if you get in that reason to pull you over, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna make everything worse, especially if your car is modified. See like how my shit is. So yeah, that's that's one of the main points why I got rid of my exhaust. So so let's say that if a cop was to pull up behind me. All he's gonna see is a stock muffler. So my chances of getting harassed is probably less than if I was to have a exhaust or a muffler sticking out, big old muffler. And one thing is, the thing that's good about the E cutout is that with the flip of a switch, your car goes back to sounding like stock. So let's say you have Let's say you want you know you want to um, let's say you want to do a quick run and you're gonna open up your exhaust right uh, after that run and then let's say uh, you see a cop and then well you want to do a little pull you see a cop pull up next to you right after you do that pull all you gotta do is hit that switch and then the e cutter will close up and that's it it'll go it'll go back to sound like stock. And when he looks behind your car, he's gonna see a stock exhaust, and the chances of him harassing you, he's probably not, because he's probably not gonna waste his time. So it's just my old two. Uh, I ran the cutouts before, but not this size. The reason why I'm running at three inch is that uh, I'm turbo turbocharged now, so I gotta get airflow for the turbo. Yeah, not the best will, but yeah, it'll do. So yeah, I've been working on this for like a couple days, trying to get everything right, measured. So yeah, here's just a little update. Uh, I will definitely do a, what is it, my next video? I'll do a video of, uh, after I install it, I'll do a video of how it sounds like, closed up and open with uh i'll do two step also so you guys can actually hear and just know that with an e cutout most likely you are going to shoot some flames or you're going to have some backfire that's just ju that's just the way it is it's, it's basically like running a what is it um like a hood exit in a way because i even ha i had a even when i ran a two inch cutout on my fucking ebay heritage that shit was backfiring like it was actually like shooting flames and shit. I mean, I can't see it, but you could hear you could hear a pop, loud pops. So, yeah, it's just if you guys get a cut on and it makes some sound like that, it's 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 pretty damn normal after you tune it, after you tune your car. So yeah, after uh, 
After I install it, I'll do a video on the next one. So yeah, if you guys haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Like I said, this is just my opinion. Maybe you guys feel a different way, but yeah, this is just my thought of, you know, trying to, I'm not saying trying to beat the law, but you know, just trying to keep uh, cops off your ass and shit, harassing you, all that bullshit. All right, y'all. Until the next video, I'll see you guys.